So ladies and gentlemen, to gain more information about Universitas Terbuka, let's watch the following video about Universitas Terbuka. Recording in progress. Opening your eyes to the importance of education. For the younger generation, as they have the same rights to continue their education to a higher level. Growing in knowledge, enhancing good character, and to have a brighter future. Universitas Turbuca is established to make the dreams of young men and women from all corners of the country come true through the distance higher education system to meet the ever-changing demands of industrial and technological development in the 21st century. Dengan diresmikannya Universitas Turbuca. Universitas Terbuka is a pioneer of world quality distance higher education, which is supported by professional lecturers who are experienced in their own field of expertise. Universitas Terbuka has also made numerous innovations to solve current educational challenges by applying a digital learning ecosystem to build capable and quality future leaders. Hampir empat dasawarsa ute mengabdi untuk bangsa. Universitas Terbuka mewujudkan pendidikan tinggi untuk semua. With the long experience of carrying out our mission of providing equal access to higher education for everyone in Indonesia, Universitas Terbuka has proven to be a trusted public higher education institution. Our graduates have successfully applied their knowledge into their chosen career fields as either professionals or entrepreneurs. As of 2022, UTE has a student body of just over 350,000. As a cyber university who teaches and applies the latest technology, Universitas Terbuka has four faculties, including the Faculty of Economics, the Faculty of Law, Social and Political Sciences, the Faculty of Science and Technology, and the Faculty of Education and Teacher Training. As a successful distance higher education institution, UTE has received various awards and achievements. For instance, the Rector of Universitas Terbuka, Professor Ojat Darajat, was elected by acclamation as the President of Asian Association of Open Universities for the period of 2020 to 2022. Time and time again, UTE continues to make important innovations by using the most advanced communication technology and information available in each of its programs. Through the implementation of lifelong learning, UTE also provides certificate programs and tuition-free programs such as open educational resources as well as free lectures to be accessed by everyone. Limitation is not a hindrance for people to continue their education to a higher level because education is a fundamental human right for everyone that can be accessed easily. This is Universitas Terbuka, always thinking forward, always open to diversity. Pendidikan tinggi bagi semua anak negeri. Universitas Terbuka menjangkau yang tidak terjangkau.
Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? The visiting lecturer program will commence shortly. For all participants, you would like to ask you to put your microphone in the muted mode. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Om Swastiastu, Nama Buddhaya, Salam Kebajikan. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to visiting lecturer event held by Food Technology Study Program, Faculty of Science and Technology, Universitas Terbuka, with the team Innovative Food Packaging for Food Quality and Sustainability. Allow me to extend our warmest greetings to the honorable speakers for today. Professor Vanuat Supakul, PhD, as Associate Professor at the Department of Packaging and Material Technology, Faculty of Agro-Industry, Kasetsat University, Thailand. Ing Muhammad Jiraji Radiansa, MSc, as a lecturer at Food Technology Study Program, Faculty of Science and Technology, Universitas Terbuka. Welcome, Professor Vanuat Sufakul, PhD, and Ing Muhammad Jiraji Radiansa, MSc. Thank you very much for joining us today. And also, we would like to welcome our honorable guests for today. Dr. Subakti Nurmawati, MSc, as a Dean of Faculty of Science and Technology, Universitas Terbuka. Atipah Fauzia, STP, MC, as a Head of Food Technology Study Program, Faculty of Science and Technology, Universitas Terbuka. And also lecturers, students, and all participants who have joined to this meeting. Thank you very much for joining us today. I am Rina Rismaya. I feel very honored to be the host for today's event. Ladies and gentlemen, let's be grateful that we can gather here today, 24th of November, 2022, because over the next few hours, we will have opportunities to discuss and share the knowledge, insight, and of course, current development related to the food packaging technology, especially about innovative food packaging for food quality and sustainability. Before we start, allowing me to give a short description about this program. Visiting lecturer program held by Food Technology Study Program, Faculty of Science and Technology, Universitas Terbuka, aim to improve the knowledge and insight of lecturers and academic community of Faculty of Science and Technology, Universitas Terbuka, about current updates on specific issues or research findings in certain fields. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, this visiting lecturer program will be started by opening the host, followed by singing the national anthem of Indonesia, and then greetings from the Dean of Faculty of Science and Technology, Universitas Terbuka, and then our main agenda is presentation and sharing session about innovative food packaging for quality and safety from Professor Vanuat Supakul, PhD, as Associate Professor at the Department of Packaging and Material Technology, Faculty of Agro-Industry, Kasetsat University, Thailand. And then the next presentation, about packaging and its impact on sustainability will be delivered by Ing Muhammad Raji Radiansa MSc, and discussion will be moderated by Adi Susilo Mbiotech PhD, and also followed by giving certificate of appreciation to speakers, and the last is closing. So ladies and gentlemen, before we start, please allow me to give some information about visiting lecturer rules. The first, please turn off your microphone during presentation. You can turn on your microphone when moderator has allowed you in question and answer session that, you, uh, that will be started after the speaker finish the presentation. If you have a question, please type uh, your question in the chat box and you can also ask directly to speakers by using raise hand feature in two meeting. And don't forget to mention your name and also your question. The attendance and feedback form will be shared at the end of this event. 
So don't forget to fill the attendance and feedback form. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, as a start of our agenda, we will sing the national anthem of Republic Indonesia. For all participants, we would like to invite you to remain seated. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, as a start of our visiting lecture event, let's hear greetings from Dean of Faculty of Science and Technology, Universitas Terbuka. Therefore, I would like to invite Ibu Dr. Subakti Nurmawati, MC, to deliver greetings and welcoming speech. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning and best wishes to all of us. Om Swastiastu, Namo Buddhaya, Salam Kebajikan, Rahayu. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin. In this very fine day and good health, we are able to gather in this forum. And it is our privilege that we can join in today's meeting. Our Honorable Professor Panwat Supakul, PSD from Kasasat University, Thailand. Our Honorable Master Ing M. Rajih Radiansyah, MSc, Lecturer of Food and Technology Study, uh, study Program, Faculty of Science and Technology, Universitas Terbuka. Our Honorable Vice Dean for Academic Affairs, Dr. Edwin Yuliana and Vice Dean for General Affairs, Mrs. Ingrid Winarni, MSE, to the Honorable Head of Agricultural Department, Dr. Rinda Novianti, and Head of uh, Study Program, Food and Technology, Ibu Atifah Fauziah, MSI, our moderator, Mr. Adi Susilo, PSD, and all lecturers, students of Faculty of Science and Technology in the Buka and all participants who present in this virtual visiting lecture. Firstly, praise is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of his permission. Today we are all able to attend the visiting lecture with the topics innovative food packaging for food quality and sustainability. This event uh, is organized by Technology Study Program, Faculty of Science and Technology, Universitas Terbuka. Ladies and gentlemen, as we know that the purpose, the purposes of packaging is to protect 
a product against the deteriorative effect caused by exposure to external factors. In addition, product packaging serves as an effective marketing means to communicate with consumers. Packaging comes in various shapes and size and provides consumers with convenience as a user's interface. However, traditional packaging is no longer sufficient due to continuously increasing consumer experience expectations, increasing product complexity, and most recently, national and international initiative toward fostering a circular economy and minimizing the carbon footprint of manufactured products. Innovative packaging with enhanced functionality is also required to accommodate a variety of additional consumers' needs. Ladies and gentlemen, besides of these visiting lectures, we are also will explore the possibility of cooperation between Katsasar University and with Faculty of Science and Technology Universitas Terbuka. Hopefully, after attending this visiting lecture, it can inspire us to continue working to develop research that can be useful for the wider community. We express our, our gratitude to Professor Panward for the time and sharing. Lastly, we would like to thank all parties that we have not mentioned one by one who has helped organize today's visiting lecturer. That's all for me. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Ibu Dr. Bakti Normawati, MC, for delivering the greetings and also welcoming speech. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally arrived at the main agenda. In a few moments, we will listen to the presentation of current issue related to our team, innovative food packaging for food quality and sustainability. The main agenda will be divided into sub-session. The first session, the presentation will be delivered by Professor Panwat Supakul, PhD, as Associate Professor at the Department of Packaging and Material Technology, Faculty of Agro-Industry, Kasasat University, Thailand. The second session, the presentation, will be delivered by Ing Muhammad Jiraji Radiasa, BSMC, as a lecturer at the Department of Food Technology, Faculty of Science and Technology, Universitas Terbuka. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, I would like to invite Mr. Adi Susilo, a biotech PhD, to guide us through an insightful session. Okay, good morning, everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Respectable the Dean of Faculty of Science, Universitas Terbuka, and the Head of Food Technology Department, Mrs. Atifa Fausia, STP, MSE, MSE uh, the Honorable All Lecturers of the Food Technology Department, and the Honorable All Particip Participants of this seminar. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm Adi Shula, the moderator of today's seminar. I'm very pleased to see you here and welcome all of you to this seminar. Today's seminar is about innovative food packaging for food quality and sustainability. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, our first speaker today is Professor Panwat Supakul PhD from Kasasat University, Thailand. His research is focused on developing, developing new functional active and intelligent packaging system. The second speaker is Ing Muhammad Raji Radiansa, PS, MSc. His research focuses on food technology, food safety, and food sustainability. Before the presenter begins, let me inform how the presenter will be going on. First, Professor Panwat Supakal, PhD, will be invited to present the material and then followed by Ing Muhammad Raji Rajansha, PS, MSc. After that, there will be question and answer session and followed by conclusion. Now, allow me to welcome the first speaker, Professor Panwat Supakal, PhD. Uh, Ah. to deliver his presented entitled Innovation Food Packaging for Food Quality and Safety. Professor Panwat Supakul, the microphone and the screen ah. is yours. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Please. Okay. So now I can uh, give a presentation, right? Okay. Yes. You see the slide? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, actually, uh, it's a great pleasure for me today to give a presentation about the uh, innovative food packaging for quality and safety. Uh, to fix up, actually, first of all, I'd, I'd like to fix up my academic uh, positions. Actually, it's now a full professor uh, of the packaging technology. Um, before I run my talk, okay, let me introduce you about the, our department of uh, packaging and material technology. Actually, we have started with the Bachelor of Science in Packaging Technologies in 1985, and then followed by the Master's Degree in Packaging Technology in 2001, and we have a doctoral degree in 2007. And we are the first uh, institute in Thailand and Asia in this area of the packaging technologies. Um, the area of the uh, research that we have the, at the moment, we have about the uh, active and intelligent packaging, bio-based material distribution packaging, food packaging, packaging designs and printing, and packaging management and process and machine, machinery. We have the, some collaborations between the Agassiz Science University with, uh, and Michigan State University, Cal Poly State University, Yonsei University in South Korea, and even for Dongkuk University. And from China, we have the Tianjin University of Science Technology, and we have the National University of Singapore as well. So hopefully in, 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 the, in the near future, maybe we have some collaborations between uh, the universities, uh, Tabuka as well, okay. This one, I will just show you for the PKMT faculty members. At the moment, we have the 16 member. It's a young a member, <laughs> okay. Okay, for our uh, our live presentations, I will run my talk covering uh, viewpoint of innovations. And then we will talk about uh, from the uh, conventional packaging to the math, uh, smart packaging. And then we will give some you for the overviews of the smart food packaging. And then I will show you some of the smart food packaging research highlights from our faculty member. And then I will show you some a little bit about the best practice of food packaging in Thailand and then come up with the concluding remark. Let me start with the real part of innovation. Okay, for what is the difference between the inventions and innovation? Actually, innovation is the invention that plus with the exportations especially in terms of the commercialization, right? As you can see from this figure about the innovation view, I will show you some of the example that related to the experience configurations and offering that related to smart packaging. Let's see. Okay, and this case for the customer engagement. So at the moment we can use uh, AR or augmented reality, this one as an interactive experience that can uh, come up with the packaging, you know, to uh, let the consumer to experience for the AR. And for the process, this one just show you for the after opening timer. This one just uh, uh, the package for the modified atmosphere packaging. As you can see this sticker, actually this, this sticker as attached inside the package. And when we open it, normally we have two or three days, you know, to consume it, you know, after, to finish the, the products, right? So, and these uh, after opening timer views uh, shows the consumer to, to let the consumer know that you have to finish, you know, within time, something like that, okay, after you open it. And this one for the products uh, system for the digitization, actually this one can connect uh, the consumer, you know, to the packaging. Uh, we are the connect, connected the packaging. Okay, from the conventional packaging to smart packaging. For the conventional, as we can know uh, in the last decades, we have so many uh, the packaging uh, technology, including for the air vacuums, nitrogen flush, modified atmosphere, aseptic, and uh, retort packaging. So, Actually, this one just here for the trade-off between the food waste and the packaging. Actually, 
So we have to uh, like a balance, you know, between to to make the uh, less food waste. But anyhow, when we make our less food waste, maybe we have to concern about the more uh, packaging. How can we get the optimization, you know, for the packaging? So for this uh, figure, I just show you for the global food waste and food loss. Okay, let me uh, focus on the Southeast Asia. You can see in the blue color with the big uh, circle, this one, the food loss, this is intent for the human consumption that wasted the, during the productions or uh, post-harvest or even the processing. This is a big issue in the Southeast Asia. So that's why the packaging can be uh, used to fix up this problem. As you can see, this one just show you for the food waste reduction via the smart packaging by using the some kind of the, the smart packaging or smart level like indicator. Now, let me move to the overview of smart food packaging. So let uh, me show you what a di different from the active intelligent packaging versus smart packaging. At, uh, Last decade, actually, we, we, we have the term with the functional packaging as a active and intelligent packaging. But from now on, they move to smart packaging. Let me start with the active packaging. This one has to enhance protection functions. Uh, whereas intelligent packaging will enhance the communications and information functions. But at the moment, for intelligent packaging have to uh, separate between a data carrier to be connected packaging and for the diagnostic packaging to be the intelligent packaging. So this one just show you for the change in the food packaging industry game. They have some trend, uh, five trend. That's it. This one is very uh, like a packaging is the mega trend. We have the e-commerce, okay? We have the consumer preference. We have some uh, food, a uh, fast moving uh, consumer goods. We have sustainability and uh, the next speaker will talk about the sustainability as well. And then we have some kind of the digitizations or internet of things. So I will, I will focus this one uh, in the maybe next two slide about this one. So this one just show you for the global uh, packaging, uh, smart packaging market in 2027, that's affected by COVID-19. As you can see, for the growth rate, it just still increased, you know, to 5.2%. And this one has the, the market share, uh, the market values about the uh, 40, 43.6 uh, billion US dollar in 2027. Okay. And here, for the packaging mega trend, as you can see, that's uh, impact by uh, COVID-19. For the consumer preference and fast moving good, uh, consumer goods, you can see their impact by COVID 19. They change, uh, they move from the layer like, four levels to five levels. This means that this one is very high impact, you know, for the industry, okay, especially for the food packaging. And here, this one just show you for the fresh and processed food packaging. This one will be uh, like one of the winning imperative during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Now, let me uh, give you some uh, definitions about the active packaging. Actually, active packaging is a subclass of the smart packaging. This one capable to carry out the active function that to control or to interact you know, with, with the uh, food product in the, uh, the headspace uh, inside the, the, the package to extend the shelf life or maintain the qualities and safety of the food products. There are so many kinds of the active packaging so that I will show you in, in each uh, category. Let me start with uh, moisture like rating. Actually, this one is very familiar in the side chain. Normally we know as a gels. Normally we use the silica gels to uh, regulate the moisture from the food packet environment. And this one will be uh, prolong the shelf life of the, the food products, you know, especially for the moisture sensitive food products. And here, for the oxygen scavenging, actually this one, we can scavenge the oxygen, you know, in, in the headspace, in the package to delay or to prevent the oxidation reactions. And it can prolong the shelf life. As you can see uh, for the fresh pasta here, for the fresh, fresh pasta, 
this one is the fresh pasta uh, for the reading theme. Actually, they can contain some kind of the ocean scavenging material. This can scavenge the ocean in the haze space. So we can keep this fresh pasta as the ambient condition. Okay. And here for the carbon dioxide scavenging, they can scavenge the uh, carbon dioxide, you know, from uh, in the headspace to prevent the uh, package swelling. Especially this one can apply with the, the fermented food products. For instance, in this case from the South Korea, okay, they have the kimchi uh, fermented uh, cabbage, right? So we can use these to apply this one, you know, to uh, prevent for the package swelling. And here for the ethylene scavenging, uh, they can scavenge the ethylene, you know, from the fresh fruit or vegetable environment uh, to delay uh, the fruit ripening, some kind of like that. And they can uh, prolong the solid life of the, the uh, fresh produce. Uh, normally we use with the, the potassium permanganate. And you can see in this sachet in the purple color, okay? This one is a potassium permanganate. We can use, you know, to, to scavenge the, the ethylene gas. And here you can see this one is the collected box from Duna Packs in Hungary. Actually, they infill, uh, incorporate with the first in uh, in the liner of the collected box. So we can use this box, you know, to uh, for the fruit uh, transportation. And here, antimicrobial packaging. This one to limit or prevent the microbial growth by extending the lag phase or reduce the growth rate, or even uh, to decrease the life power of microorganism. Uh, like in this case here, you see a uh, zero uh, light. The zero ion can uh, inhibit the microbial growth. So we can uh, introduce this one in, in the key cellular layer for the plastic material. And this one will be the surface contact uh, in, in the package, okay? And you see here, this one, there wants to be oil incorporated, uh, plastic sheet. They put on top of the uh, Japanese lunch box, okay? And here for antioxidant packaging, this one will be limit or prevent the uh, lipid oxidation, okay? By donate uh, electrons or hydrogen quenching oxygen, okay? And here for the ethylene blocking, this one will be block the ethylene uh, we are planning to receive the size because this uh, material actually is a 1MCP and 1MCP, they have the structure closely to the ethylene gas, they have the double bond. So this one will be uh, react with the plant tissue receptor size. And you can see here for the untreat, you see for the broccoli forest, uh, you see the color is you can change, you know, from the chlorophyll to the carotenoid. That's why you can see the a little bit uh, yellow color. But when we treat with the 1MCP, you can see, uh, this one just still in the green color at the 45 stair at the zero degrees uh, at the uh, shoe condition. And here for the aroma release packaging, actually this one can uh, acquire aroma release activities. They can enhance the product aromas to attract the consumer. So when we keep these, uh, the bottles of the, the soft drink, you know, on, on the shelf and when the, uh, Customer that just walks by, they can smell the, the good aroma and they can draw attention of the customer. And here for the insect repellent, okay, they can prevent the insect penetrations or invasions or repel the insect by release uh, insects uh, lip, uh, repellent. You can see here, this one just showed you the, the photos that the insects can bite, you know, pass through the packaging material. You see here, even here, multi-layer paper, aluminum lamina, laminate, or even the, for the uh, polyethylene laminate, you see they can bite, pass through. So that's why from the uh, layer retort packaging, you know, inside the uh, uh, folding cartons in, in Japan, actually in this folding carton, they infill, they incorporate with the insect repellent, you know, to make sure that these uh, insects will not, you know, uh, damage the retort pouch, okay? Okay, now let me move to the another one for intelligent packaging. This one, a subclass of smart packaging that can carry out the intelligent function. They can provide information or warn about the possible problem, even to enhance the safety. So the first thing that, that I will uh, talk about the intelligent packaging, 
they will relate with the data carrier. But at the moment, this data carrier is being classified as the connected packaging. Let's start with the QR code, the quick response code. So we use normally in a smartphone or mobile phone now, we use this a QR code, you know, at the a normal line, you know, like in this case for the, in Thailand, we have the uh, better grow company uh, for they, they use, they adopt these uh, QR code, you know, for their products, you know, for the accessibility uh, issue. And here IFID, uh, radio frequency identification. Actually, we use this IFID, you know, for identify, provide information, uh, even dusting operations. Okay. And here NFC now, sorry, near, near, near fuse communication. Actually, we use this, you know, to, to prevent about the anti how to, uh, for the how to fit products like, like this one for the, the red wine. Actually, they have some kind of the how to fit, you know, red wine from, from China. So that's why most of the company, they use this technology, you know, to prevent like uh, in terms of the anti how to fit. Okay. And here, augmented reality. Okay, and you can see here for the ketchup, tomato ketchup. Actually, when we use the smartphone to uh, use the camera, okay, and we, we can see here in this uh, level, high level, and then you, you can find some kind of the, the uh, tomato ketchup uh, recipe. So we can use recipe this to, to cook for the cooking, something like that. And here for the top, now let's move to the second one for the uh, intelligent packaging. This one is class of the diagnostic packaging for the all things about the indicators. Okay, let me start with the time temperature indicators. Actually, we use these time temperature indicators. They use the environment as the information to real time monitoring the time temperature status. As you can see, if we keep the products, Okay, at the ideal condition, for, for instance, at the shield condition, shield food, okay, normally we keep at the four degrees Celsius. The color will change from the yellow to the pink color within six days, okay? If these products expose to the temp uh, temperature fluctuations, what happened? This color will change quickly, you know, from yellow to pink, you know, within maybe four and a half days, like this. This can kind of apply with the fresh food or this one like uh, uh, the ground beef, you know, like this, they have some kind of, uh, this uh, indicator. You see here in the dark, color, dark blue color. So outside, you can see this outside, we call with the referencing scale. So if inside uh, lighter than outside, it means that this one, you have to uh, throw away this uh, products, okay? No longer to, to consume. And here, for the full spoiler indicator, FSI, actually we use metabolite that's produced you know, by the microorganism you know, inside the package as an information to monitor the status of the full spoilage. As you can see here, from the every denizens in uh, US, actually they use this you know, to monitor uh, the bacteria producing some kind of nitrogen or the sulfur uh, compound. So this color will change from the pink color to the yellow color. So we can monitor it. And here, this one in Japan, okay, they do with the like, uh, uh, you see, they have some kind of the barcode in the blue color. So when the color change, and this uh, color change develop from the white color to the blue color, and this blue color will block the barcode. So it means that barcode reader cannot read it. So it means that, this package cannot sell to the customer. And here, for the ripeness indicator, this one for the fruit, we can see for, we can use with the chemical ripeness index as information to monitor the status of the fruit's ripeness, especially for the ethylene gas or even for the aroma. You can see here for the fruit ripening process, you see the aroma compound is will, will be developed, right? So we can use this as information, especially for the, the uh, ester, food ester. We use this ester to develop uh, the indicator. And then the consumer can buy the fruit, you know, according to their preference in terms of the texture. For instance, here for the pan, you see, you see in the red color, 
Okay, this one with the crisp texture in the orange, this one with the firm texture, and then with the yellow color is the juicy color. So it means that the people, uh, uh, the consumer can, can buy according to their preference. Here, ready to serve indicators. Actually, I will uh, separate into the two group, sub two group. The first one is for the here, for the layer drink, for uh, layer coatings or hot drink, or uh, even for the um, maple syrup. Actually, this one, they use the thermochromic ink. Line this case of beer or the soft drink. Okay, when we keep this product at the uh, shield condition, okay, the color we change, you see here, you see uh, the level here, the, the thermo, thermo, like a thermometer here, or here you see the penguin. When the penguin is right, the temperature is right, it means that uh, it's, it gets ready to serve, okay? And another thing is here, we can apply with the ferment, fermented uh, products. Like this case in, in Korea, South Korea, they apply with the kimchi. So we can prepare the uh, pack of kimchi with the in this indicator. And now they develop, as you see here, they develop as a smart uh, kimchi box. So it means that the housewives can buy this box with the sticker or the indicator, and they can uh, prepare the kimchi by themselves. Okay. And here for the gas indicators, Actually, they use the gas added information to monitor the gas composition in his bed of the package. Normally for the food products, uh, the oxygen gas is very uh, important that, that we, we have to concern. Normally they be used with the high barrel uh, material, plastic material, right? Um, uh, never, never, nevertheless, this uh, oxygen can pass to like diffuse to the inside the package. So if we have some kind of this indicator attached inside the package, so we can monitor the gas status and then we can know that the quality of the, the, the oxygen sensitive food products are so good or not. As you can see here, this is a pack of the ham. You see, they start with the, uh, the white color. This one, the methylene blue. So when this methylene blue act, uh, we call RUCO metri blue when they uh, react with the oxygen that pass through from the outside to the inside. And this metri blue will be changed color from the uh, colorless, you know, to the right blue and then to the darker blue. So we can monitor this one. And here in Thailand, actually we, we use this one to attach with the uh, uh, oxygen scavenging sachet. Because for the oxygen scavenging sachet, they have the uh, scavenging capacity the limited limitation capacity. So when the times go by, maybe for uh, two months or three months, this one will be reached the, the maximum capacity. And how can we know that this kind of the uh, product can still consume nowhere? So that's why they attach with the oxygen indicator like this. But actually this one is the best on the metric blue as well. But you see the start, why they start with the red, uh, the pink color, because they they incorporate with the non redox dye of the acid red 52. So that's why we can see color clearly. The color will change from the pink color to the purple color and then to the blue color. So it means that the color change to the blue color. We have to bring this type of package out of the, out of the shelf. Okay. Okay. Now let me move to the next. Uh, uh, section about the uh, smart packaging research highlight of uh, one of my uh, research work. I just show you some some high of them. Okay, let me start with the moisture blocking. Actually, this one we apply the layer coatings, you know, on the surface of the fresh egg. Okay, and we can keep this fresh egg at the room and at, at the ambient condition, and we can extend the shelf life of the fresh eggs for one month. Okay, like this case. And here, we also develop about the moisture indicator attached with this uh, fresh egg. So you can see for this one, our result for one month, okay? And then we attach with the uh, indicator. So we, we can monitor by the, check the indicator can be changed from the blue color, you know, to the green color and to the yellow color like this, okay? And here, this one, another, our, our work, for the cooperation between Kasai University and the Queen University Belfast in North, uh, North Ireland. Okay, this one is the oxygen indicator based on the anthraquinone base, titanium dioxide nanoparticle. Okay, so actually, as you can see before this, 
in the in the market, we have some kind of indicators with the between blue. That's when the color will change from the colorless to the blue color. But in this case, the color color will change from the yellow color to the green color and then to the blue color like this. Okay. And then we have to do a competitions in uh, the uh, Warsaw Warsaw Invention Show 2016. Okay, we got the uh, the gold medals with the mention. Okay, in this case. And here. You know, from, from the Austrian indicator, okay, we can extend the applications to be consumed within indicator. Actually, for this indicator, we call indirect indicator. So it means that we attach this indicator outside the package. So this consuming indicator, you employ the oxygen from the environment because we know that in environment, we have the oxygen around 21%, right? So we use this information to uh to set up to set up the pre-set shelf line of the food products. For instance, you see here, this one is some kind of the tuna pie. You see here in, in the level, they said that eat within day of purchase. It means that this product we have to eat within 24 hours, right? So we can develop or formulate this indicator, so it means that this indicator will change, you know, from the yellow color to colorless within 24 hours. So that's why we call consume with indicator. Okay, this one is just like another applications from the oxygen indicator. Okay, so we can develop this one. And here, for the time temperature indicators, okay, actually this one we use uh, the polymer or the PDA, polydiacetylene. Actually, the polydiacetylene, okay, here when we do a synthesis, okay, then we activate with the UV light, the color will change from the colorless to the uh, blue color. And then this blue color, we, when we export with the temperature, color will change from the blue color to the pink color. But the color transition actually is uh, start from the 20 to the 65 degrees Celsius. But normally for the time temperature indicator, we have to apply at the uh, chill condition for the, for the chill food, right? At the four degrees Celsius. So this one, this one is very, very challenging for us. How we can change the color of the PDA, you know, to shift the color transition, you know, from the 20 to 65, you know, down to four degrees Celsius. So we can do so and we can, can, we can make it. And you can see the color we change from the blue color to the like a dark uh, purple color. And we can apply with the um, uh, chicken, uh, fresh chicken breast, right? This, this one for the fresh one, this one uh, spoil or this point. And here, uh, last, last five years, uh, I have a chance you know, to, uh, to work in uh, Dongkuk University for one year. And we do a collaborations and we do a research. This one is another type of the time temperature indicators from the Dongkuk University and Kansas University. I, as I can, you can see here in, uh, in South Korea, okay, with the, the educate, well, well educated consumer, when the, you see the color, when we change, like, like in, in the first case for the PDA, the color change from the blue color to the purple color and the red color, right? When the color change just a little bit from the blue color to the purple color, normally for the consumer, they don't want to buy anymore. They don't want to buy for the well-educated consumer. So that's why we have to develop another type of the indicator, time of indicators we call on-off indicators. You can see here at the first step, the color just still the blue color. When the time scope by, the color just still blue color. So when the product is already uh, expired, the color will change from the blue color to the red color. So this one we use the PDA uh, via the mechanism of the solvato chromism. So it means that we use the solvent, you know, to react with the temperature. So when the temperature is increased, this solvent they move quicker. Okay, when the temperature is lower, the 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 solvent is moves lower. So that's why when this uh, solvent if you here pass through the uh, product structure, okay, they move here, okay, until they expire. That's why the, they will sensing with this uh, PDA. That's why the color will change abruptly from the blue color to the red color, okay? So that's why we call on-off TTI. 
Okay, now let me show you here. This one just show you for the inner initial state of the smart packaging. You see here in the at the moment in the, in the food industry, in the global food industry, for the food just still in the introduction part for the smart packaging. So it's now that's why this one is a big issue, you know, at the moment for the food packaging or even the food science technologies uh, research. Okay, because this one just an introduction here. And here, this one just show you for the market perception of the smart packaging opportunities. You see, we talk about the qualities and the safety. In terms of the importance, you see here, for the smart packaging opportunities here, importance is very high mark. And for the investment motive, just still, you know, a little bit in the more than 40%. So it's been that this one is very, very promising for the smart packaging to adopt into the food industry, okay? Okay, for the, the last uh, uh, point about the best practice uh, food packaging in Thailand. Actually, this one is really, really difficult, you know, to talk about the best practice uh, uh, in the food packaging. Okay, why, why, why I say like that? If, if we talk about the best practice, maybe we have to talk about, uh, to talk to the people, so maybe from, from the Thai Packaging Association, they deal with the industry. You see here, they have so parameter deal with the best practice. You see, we have the strategy, okay? We have the development, we have the skill, right? We have the qualities, okay? We have the solution and we have success. They have so many parameters. But for in this case that I try to show you, maybe I try to pick up some kind of the uh, best practice in terms of the success and will be used for the commercialization to show you in Thailand, okay? Let me start with this one. Actually, this one is the, um, the innovative and sustainable the packaging for Thai fresh produce industry. We call the EMA active film. Actually, this one is the equilibrium modified most wear active film. Okay, this one developed by uh, NASDAQ from the MTech. MTech is, uh, is, is the the research um, center, you know, to develop these uh, films. And they do collaborations with our, our faculty member, uh, Professor Wani Shodin Shaw from the uh, Department of Packaging and Material Technology, okay? And they develop with the high permeable films or ultra high permeable films. And this film, they incorporate with the anti fogging agents as well. And then may, they, they may uh, incorporate with the ethylene uh, scavenging as well. So that's why we call the active, EMA active theme. So this one has been launched, you know, to the commercialization. They have some, the company, uh, Thai industrial company, uh, the name is the uh, Tan Industry. They uh, license this uh, active theme, you know, to do commercialization and they sold in, in, in Thailand. And most of the, uh, the fresh produce that, uh, Sales in in the uh, supermarket normally they, they use with this kind of the active theme. You know this one can prolong the the shelf life maybe uh, four times. You know four times. You know compare with the the conventional one. Okay. And here, this one is you for the use uh, of the uh, active packaging. You know in the bakery industry, as you can see, they use active intelligent packaging in the bakery industry. You see, they use even for the sachet here. Sachet is the oxygen scavenging sachet for the active size, okay? And here, OI is the oxygen indicator label. You see here in the pink color, this one in the intelligent size. So they do a by function and they apply with this uh, bakery industry for the moon cake, moon cake. You see this logo? This one is Starbucks, right? For the Starbucks, they, 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 uh, uh, ask the um, the S and P S and P. Uh, this uh, bakery company in Thailand, and they they do this uh product, you know, for the Starbucks, and they launch even for the Starbucks in Thailand, and they use both, you know, for the ocean weighing sachet and the indicator, you know, for for the customer to to distinct. But this one is still fresh one. You see it in the pink color. If this color change to the blue color, it means that we have to bring you know off the shelf. Okay. And here, I will show you uh, this one just to you for the uh, adopt, adopt of uh, 
intelligent packaging in the beverage industry. This one we call the RSI level, ready to serve indicator level. You see here, actually this one is the soya milk and for the white milk actually very, very uh, popular in Thailand. And this one is a mango infused soya milk, okay? You see here in this level, you see in the white color, this one we keep at the ambient condition. So if we bring this one in the refrigerator, okay, the color when, when the, the temperature is dry, maybe to four degrees Celsius, the color will change from the uh, white color here to the blue color. So it means that this one is ready to serve, ready to drink, okay? And here, this one for the green tea, okay, for the PT bottle. You see here, this one, sakura flower. You see the petal here? When we keep at the uh, ambient condition, the petal in the white color. So when we keep at the re in, in refrigeration, okay, you see the petal will change, you know, from the white color to the red color. So it means that this one get, get, uh, get ready for drink, okay, for the green tea. And here, this one just adopt for the connected packaging in the beverage industry, like AR, you see here, this one for the uh, mineral water in, in Thailand, okay, for the mineral, from, from, the, from the Nestle, actually they, they adopt uh, this uh, augmented reality, you know, uh, to a private smartphone for the consumer, they, they can uh, scan it, okay, and they can, uh, have some kind of profiles and send to uh, the Minerai Thailand in, in the Facebook, something like that. And they can get the, uh, the uh, reward, something like that. Okay. Like uh, in terms of the marketing. Okay. And here for the uh, active packaging, they can adopt in the uh, SME. SME, okay. Like, like uh, Austrian selling sachet. You see here, even for the mooncake. Here for, for the, this one is very popular in the southern parts of Thailand. We call the trang cake. It's, it's like a chiffon, chiffon cake, okay? This one is the Chinese, uh, Chinese cake, like this, okay? Like in the pito form. So most of them, they use with the Austrian scavenging side shape, okay? For the SME. And here, for the ongoing situations, Okay, about the re recycling plastic in Thailand. Okay, now we 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 going for the we try to develop uh the protocol, you know, to check about the um, the migration of the things because now we try to move, you know, to use the RPET or recycle PET in in uh a beverage industry in Thailand. So now it's in the ongoing situation uh at the moment. Okay, so. Come up with the concluding remark. Okay, you can see for the smart packaging, they have to the provide uh, enhanced protection, communication information, reactive intelligence, and connected feature. Okay, highlights expanded. Okay, even coupled with the digital technology. And this innovation offer the new business opportunity, you know, for the uh, broad realm of the industry of, uh, 4.0. I think I uh, already uh, give you some information about the uh, innovative of food packaging related to the qualities and, and safety, especially for the smart uh, food packaging already. So thank you very much for your attention. Okay, thank you. Recording in progress. The use of plastic. How dangerous is the use of plastic for food packaging? Yeah. Well, yeah, the, uh, the use of plastic in food packaging itself is not dangerous because we're using food packaging right now mm. to, uh, sorry, we're using plastic right now to use as food packaging. Um, uh, as I mentioned, there are a lot of uh, there used to be plastic, they used PPA as ingredients uh, to, uh, to help with the plastic uh, sustain uh, longevity. 
but now it is banned because you can press concern enter itself. But um, but in the end, the dangerous part of using plastic is that it's later uh, in the future because plastics uh, takes a lot of time to uh, to degrade. Uh, so if we don't uh, find a way to make a much more uh, sustainable plastic or use less plastic in itself, it will uh, be dangerous not for us probably, or maybe for us right now, but uh, not for us, but for our children and our children's children. So you have to, uh, the dangerous part of plastic is not now, but it's later in the future. That's what I think. Thank okay, thank you. Uh, next question uh, for Professor Panuwat. Could you explain more about the impact of using the smart packaging to the product price? Yeah, from now on, uh, for the price, for the price of the uh, smart packaging material now is decreased. It's decreased a lot, you know. So it means that actually we can adopt this uh, some kind of the smart packaging material, you know, to cope with, with the conventional packaging. As you can see, even in Thailand, now why we can we can adopt this uh, smart packaging, you know, for the uh, SME small and medium enterprise, you know, because the price of the uh, smart packaging material is decreased. So uh, this one, we will end up with some kind of the high value added product first. You see, when for in this case, let, let me let me uh, make you to concern about the smartphone uh, for the, the uh, cell phone, cellular phone. You see, when we get back into uh, last three decades, the smart the, the mobile phone actually is very very expensive right it's very export, exorbitant we we can we can't afford it right but you see now every walk of life okay they have smartphone right so that's why for the all, all the uh the material cost is decreased so that's why it can uh available it can adopt it you know to use you know with with the the food packaging okay so that's why smart packaging is uh, this one is we should be okay at the moment, you know, to apply with with the with the full products. Uh, even if you're concerned that maybe have the high impact, very high price, so we can apply, you know, just not with the the low value products. You can apply with the high value products. For as for instance, in Thailand, the first company is the uh, S and P a uh, bakery company. Actually, they they adopt uh, Austrian scavenging sachet last thirty years last 30 years, you know, for apply with the moon cake, because this one, we can extend the shelf life of the moon cake up to three or six months. So that's why this one is very, you know, uh, very uh, comparable. That's why they, 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 they use it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. The, the fifth question is similar with the previous question. So, uh, can you move to another question? Uh, this question from Rinukti. Uh, is this part packaging only profitable for company, a company or also beneficial for consumer? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. I think I think for the smart packaging, this this one can have a, a useful or the beneficial for both sides, even for the uh, private sector or even for the consumer. Okay, let, let me start with the consumer first. You see, for for instance, like uh, the pasteurized milk, okay, when you when you buy the uh, a bottle of milk, right? Okay, and you have to put in the refrigeration, right? Okay, for the four degree Celsius. And this one normally when we open it, the shelf life may be just uh just for less than uh, a week, right? What happened if you forget to leave this uh a bottle of milk? at the ambient condition, okay? And then when maybe leave it for, for, for uh, six hours, and then you bring this back to the refrigeration, how can we know that this product just still uh, good quality, you know, or safe, you know, for, for the children to drink it? I, I don't think that you, um, in terms of uh, the, the discharge, no one, no one have to, uh, what to say, to, to refill that. No, never, never get this chart, right? Why, why not? Because before you, you, you have a product, you, you, 
uh, you drink it or, or you have it, right? You smell it. Maybe it's just to be okay. Because uh, for the sensing organ, it means for, for the no sensing organ of the human, it's a very, very bad. We can't sense it with the uh, very low metabolite that the mechanism is produced. So that's why with the indicator that are attached with the uh, packaging, even in uh, the inside the package or the outside the package, this one will be sensing and will let us know what is the good or not for us to consume. That's why this one is very, very uh, benefits, you know. So it's mean that in another way, if you get the discharge, you have to go to the hospital, right? You have to, to, to pay it for the doctors. This one costs a lot of the money, right? So if this one just lie for the protection, you know, like the prevention, you know, to get the, uh, the cost like this. So in the size of the, the industry, you see, normally some industry like a TTI, time temperature indicators, because this one just a check for the, the temperature fluctuation so for the distribution, right? What happened if your company perform is very, very well? So it's mean that they can monitor they can monitor, maybe they can use the data locker to make sure that the, all the products, you know, pass to the, uh, the, the factory plant, you know, to the supermarket, or to the supermarket, you know, with the constant temperature at the four degrees Celsius. They got a very, very high quality of the products. How can they came? No way, right? But with this indicator, they attach. Okay, if you keep at the four degrees Celsius, Okay, so they claim that this product is very, very good because normally when the consumer pay for, for, for the food, for the products, okay, they pay for the, you know, with the like a high price or 100% price, they should get the high quality as well, right? Unless, okay, if they get the temperature fluctuation, okay, but they have to pay for the 100% for the, the, the price, the price is not the decrease, right? So that's why these are fair, you know, even for the consumer or for the, the, the company, they can claim it's from this, uh, by adopt this technology as the marketing tool. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Prof. This is the last question from Nadia. Uh, is the ink on the printer the pack packaging? Uh, Let yeah, is the ink on the printed packaging? Uh, Could you please? Uh, yes. And turns up. Let me read first. Uh, Nadia from the Nadia. Is the uh, ink on the printed packaging dangerous for the food? If not, what kind of ink is suitable for product packaging? About the ink. Ink. Well, well, well I can't. I can't. The uh, for this question from Nadia Desa. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is is the is the print on the dangerous for food? If not, what the card in is suitable for food packaging. <laughs> um, actually, actually, for for the ink that they when we really use, you know, with with the right printing technology for the food packaging, actually they have to pass, you know, for the standard, you know, in terms of the migration test yeah. of the things. This can be used, you know, normally for for the ink, right? That for for my case, like uh, uh the ink that that we uh. Adopt, you know, like an ingredient to make the light indicator. Of course, it's like it's look like a like to make a light ink as well, right? It means that all the ingredient that we use it actually, if it's not if a, normally it's a chemical, right? So when we apply with with the, the the level, actually they have some kind of you know another layer, you know, to to protect them. Is make sure that no migration, you know, from the indicators, you know, migrate to to the food product, something like that. Otherwise, you have to use the same. Yeah. Uh, I open the question from the uh, particip participant uh, who uh, can ask uh, directly. You can unmute your microphone. You can raise your hand. Okay. Yeah, please, Mr. Rajiv. Uh, okay. I think I have one one question from the dance. 
Yeah. Nani, yes. right? Right yes. about the uh, ethylene, right? Okay, regarding to active packaging, one of the ethylene, how the applications of the ethylene packaging itself, why the ethylene is substant for the ripening food. Okay, okay, I can answer this this one. <clears throat> yeah, of please. Course, of course, we know we know that ethylene is a plant growth hormone, right? This one can can be used the ethylene gas, you know, to uh for the fruit ripening. Of course, correct, right? But anyhow, normally when the ethylene gas is produced, this one is like a, a chain reaction. So when they produce, okay, when they they send things, uh, the the signal, you know, to the plant tissue receptor side, this ethylene will be they will get out and get to another side. So it means that the layer chain reaction, right? What happened? So this ethylene will be will be expedited the process of the fruit ripening. So it means that if we didn't use the ethylene scavenging, as ethylene scavenger sachet, what happened? The fruit will be get ripened quicker. So we just use this ethylene scavenging sachet to delay the process. It means that we can send maybe bananas from Thailand by, <clears throat> you know, uh, to Japan, you know, or something like that within uh, maybe two weeks or three weeks, something like that. This one just like uh, to uh, to delay the process of the the actually uh, function. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Prof. Uh, is there thank any you. question? Okay, that's the floor of the Diana. The question uh, is the what is the right packaging for vanilla beans products to reduce plastic and prevent it from getting moldy? Because usually they use plastic vacuum. Okay, actually, if, if I'm not wrong, this this vanilla bean actually this layer to get a flavor, right? For, for... Yes. Right. Uh, because and this one is very expensive one, right? Because the organic yes. one, right? Yes. Right. They, they use maybe with um for for the bakeries, maybe the like premium products, right? Yeah. So for the if this this uh vanilla bean very high price, actually you can apply, you know, with the oxygen scavenging sachet, you know, easily to use to do so. Because for the more more normally for the more they they have to uh use the oxygen, you know, to grow, right? So if in the in the system without the oxygen, so it's mean that we can inhibit the, the more more growth. But by using the, the oxygen serving sachet, okay. Or even in uh in the Western company, they have some kind of the oxygen scavenging film. So it's mean that if you want to prepare for the when they are being in the plastic bag, this bag can govern the oxygen as well. Okay. Okay. You. Is there any question? Please uh, raise your hand. Okay, from the you, Insan Kamil. Insan Kamil, yes. <laughs> How to make believe, believe to, to customer. the customer who are concerned about the raw price? That's that's why you have to educate to the, your customer. Okay. So, because how, because this one had a light pro and con, okay, they want them to buy for the high price, right? But this one have the benefits, you know, you can save the money, you know, to see the doctors or the things. So that's why you have to, to educate the people, okay? Yes. How can educate? Educate for the billionaire. Which, how can educate in a difficult society often to do packaging? How can educating the difficult society? So that's <laughs> why you have to for for the stakeholder, you know, yes. from the academia, for the, the packaging industry association, for the brand owner, okay, even 
with the uh, packaging industry or the things yeah. you have to work together or even for the government you have to set up set up the policy or the things you know and work up yeah. together like this okay okay thank you prof uh, maybe this, the question is all which one Oh, this one, the last one, Professor. Can we the time temperature indicator packaging replace the use of expired date in the food products? Okay, of course. Actually, we can use this uh, time temperature indicator as the replace the expired date. Let, 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 let me tell you, normally for the expired date, Okay, from the zero time when they produce the products. Okay, if the expiry is for one month, this one month according to the right, right conditions of the storage. For instance, if for the chilled food, okay, you have to keep at the four degrees Celsius. Okay, constant. Okay, this one the product you can keep for one month, right? What happened if this kind of product exposed to the high temperature or like a temperature fluctuation like this? So it means that the, the real the real shelf life or the real storage time actually is not one month anymore. How can we know that? No way. If with this time temperature indicator, this one is the real time monitoring because when the temperature is high, the color will change quicker. If the temperature is very low, the, the, the color will change slowly. That's why we call time temperature indicators. Okay, so that's why this is a real time monitoring. So that's why we can check the expiration date, you know, according to the color changing from the time temperature indicators. Okay. For the second one, is it the just voluntary and the safety use? Okay. Uh, okay, we. Thank you, Prof. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we finally come to the end of this seminar. Uh, before I close the seminar, I would like to take the conclusion from what the speaker has presented. Uh, from the uh, uh, all the speakers, we can uh, see the from the passive packaging to active and intelligent packaging, uh, uh, the trends in active and intelligent packaging. Uh, active active packaging has opened new horizon and opportunities in preserving the quality and extending the shelf life of food and agricultural product. And intelligent packaging has evolved to provide enhanced communication information at optimized cost. And the last one, uh, this will be benefit to every stakeholder, in, including cost, con, consumer, company, brand owner, organization, and government. Okay, uh, I would uh, like to thank the speaker for the informative and interesting presentation and all the participants for the very active participation. Uh, finally, give the uh, applause for the speaker and for you all. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, the microphone and the screen I give to the uh, uh, Rina as a MC. Okay, thank you, Mr. Adi Susilo, MBOTEC PhD, for guiding us the sharing session. And thank you very much, Professor Panwat Sipakul, PhD, and also in Muhammad uh, Raji Radiansa, MSc, for your presentation. It's a clear, complete, and also comprehensive. I believe that we and our students and also all participants are very excited to discuss these new insights with you. And this is the end of our agenda. Professor Panwat Sufakul PhD and Ing Muhammad Raji Radian Sah MSc, please kindly remain present as the next agenda. We would like to give a certificate as a appreciation from our study program. The certificate will be delivered by Dean of Faculty of Science and Technology, Universitas Terbuka. I would like to invite Ibu Dr. Subakti Normawati, MSc, to main room to give an 
Appreciation Certificate to Professor Panwat Supaku, PhD, and in Muhammad Radhi Radiansa, MC. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much for Professor Pakwan Supakul from Kasar Sahad University. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, create cooperation between uh, two of us, Faculty of Science and Technology, and also uh, University of uh, Kasar Sahad University. Okay, for the next project, probably uh, this is the certificate for you as appreciation for uh, as of your uh, presentation. Hopefully will um, useful, uh, useful for all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, you're welcome. And then next certificate for Mr. Raji. Okay, thank you very much. Also, you are once of a uh, lecturer of um, food technology program study of FST. Uh, hopefully, you will inspire us uh, to the next uh, presenter. Okay, thank you. Thank um, you. <laughs> thank you very much, Ibu Dr. Subakti Normawati MC. So, ladies and gentlemen, as we finish our agenda for today, we would like to say thank you to our speakers and all to uh, the guests and participants who have participated in the sharing forum. Before we close the event, I would like to ask all the participants to open the camera so we can could have a nice photograph. Uh, Mrs. Safira. Would you help us to take a uh, picture? Yes, can picture. Okay. So everyone, give your best smile. We have uh, three slides. Conduct in three, two, one. Next slide. Three, two, one. And next slide. Three, two, one. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mrs. Safira, and thank you very much once again for all participants. I would like to remind you, don't forget to fill the attendance and also evaluation form, which are available in the chat box. And finally, we arrive in the end of the event. We hope you enjoy the knowledge spring session, and we will see you again in the next visiting lecture with other interesting topics. See you again and goodbye. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you, Prof. Anwar. Thank you, Prof. Anwar. Mas Thank Raji. You, Thank, you. Thank you, Ibu Norma. Sama-sama, Marina. Sukses ya, Mas Adi. Thank you.